on today's Family First, we are talking specifically about seasonal allergy medications. And the idea here, first and foremost, is to widen your perspective as to what they can do. And for that, I talked to allergist and immunologist, Dr. Kelsey Kamen. A lot of people think about using those medications for their symptoms after they've already occurred. But in reality, some of our medications are really important for prevention, and you want to start them before symptoms even show up to be able to keep them in check as the season goes on. That's right. Some allergy medications work best for prevention when taken before you get symptoms. But which ones? So the best preventatives are the nasal steroids. Those are things that you're going to see over the counter like Flonase, Rhinocort, Nasocort. Those are best used for persistent symptoms. In fact, some might need to be taken regularly for weeks in order to get the full effect. So for our Patients who have symptoms kind of going throughout the spring, we have them start them usually towards the end of February to start kind of calming down those allergy cells so they aren't as reactive once the season starts going. But it's not too late to start. You can also get periodic allergy shots, by the way, although that does require a bit more commitment. Oh, and so for most people, that looks like weekly allergy shots for over four to six months. And then they turn to over kind of a, a once a month shot. And the data shows us for a duration of three to five years is really what you have to do to kind of maintain that. So it is a big commitment. When it comes to antihistamines to relieve symptoms, you don't have to choose just one. And actually there's, na there's nasal antihistamines. A lot of people don't know that, but a nasal antihistamine is actually superior than an oral antihistamine for environmental allergies. You can actually use them both. And then there are decongestants. They work, but be aware, those are not the types of meds you can take every day. Um, decongestants are really going to make your body predisposed to become reliant upon them. And so it's something that you really want to focus on more for short-term term symptoms as opposed to long-term use. Now, that being said, uh, of course, you can use more than one antihistamine, but a lot of them sometimes can make you drowsy, so you have to take a look at those uh, labels on the sides of the medication packages just to check on the side effects. And also, uh, if you have little ones like I do, I have a five-year-old who has seasonal allergies, you might want to check with your doctor first before you start uh, deciding which ones to go with. But I just like the idea that you can go with some medications that you start taking. I mean, it's not too late now, but you even start in February. Right. Take them for a whole month and kind of build up and kind of condition your body. Yeah, just a little bit. Calm, like she said, calm those allergy cells down. <laughs>